next. Let's go ahead and check in now with meteorologist Carson Vickery. Carson, how's the weather looking? Well, it's not too bad. So we had a couple of counties in the burn ban that were added over this last week or so, and they've seen the rain this morning, about a half inch to an inch, which might not be enough to lift the ban, but it certainly does not hurt it. You can see the showers and thunderstorms down to the southwest this morning. That is the loop from this morning. As you can see, this quickly moved off to the east, but we still have some leftover precipitation ongoing in the area. Here's a closer look at what's going on close to home. I really have to unenhance this radar so you can see the rain. But once again, the heaviest rain is right now in northern Nacogdoches, southern Russ County. We'll go ahead and re-enhance it just to show you. And again, guys, it's not all that heavy near Mount Enterprise along Highway 259. This will be enough to dampen the roadway, but not enough to really cause any damage or flash flooding. And I was outside in Tyler not too long ago. We had a couple sprinkles, but that's about all it's amounted to. So I want you to be prepared. Some of this rain we're going to see this afternoon could be a nuisance to you and it can occur without warning. So I want you to have that umbrella handy if you do have to be outside this afternoon. Now here are the temperatures. We are generally in the middle to upper 70s. It is 75 in Tyler, 78 in Longview, 74 in Jacksonville, 81 in Palestine, 76 in Crockett. And you notice the clouds have broken up across our western counties. And as a result, we've got clear skies there, so our temperatures are a little warmer. And I do expect us to warm into the low to middle 80s today, so it will be a relatively warm afternoon. Don't let that catch you off guard, but again, most of the rain is off to our north or south and to our east. There it is right there pushing away by 2 o'clock. We could see more bubble ups out to our west. This will be the second round of two rounds of precipitation. One moved through deep east Texas this morning. The other one could start to move through the area by 2 o'clock this afternoon. We let this play out and you notice we have a little lull in the activity through about midnight tonight, but notice how to our west another complex of showers and thunderstorms starts to get its act together. It dies out and by 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, we could still see a few showers and thunderstorms up to our north, so it's very hit and miss at least over the next 24 hours, but a lot of people today have have asked me, Carson, when's the rain actually going to occur? Well, here's the answer. The best chance of rain as of right now, this could change, but the best chance of rain looks to be Friday evening into Saturday morning. This is what the radar looks like at 6 o'clock Thursday. Showers and thunderstorms up to our north and to our west. That moves in Friday morning, and we could see a little lull in the activity by 7 o'clock. But notice, starting to get its act together near Waco. That's our next complex of showers and storms, and a lot more active, a lot more widespread through Friday evening, and then Friday night and Saturday morning. Morning, we could be dealing with similar rain chances. So here's today's forecast. Best chance of rain is to the southeast of Jacksonville and Henderson. We could have some on and off showers and then scattered showers and thunderstorms after one or two o'clock in our northwestern counties. That is indicated in the light green there. Here are your next seven days. I've got showers and thunderstorms today. Tomorrow, again, only about a 40% coverage, but the best chance of rain, I have to repeat myself, Friday evening into Saturday morning, and it looks like now we could have some showers Saturday afternoon. For the latest and your Deep East Texas 7-day, you can always head on over to KETK.